Hello Minecraft gamers, my name is AppleGuy and welcome back to more Minecraft. In the previous video we did some work here on the large house and we also spoke a lot about many many different things that apparently was really well received by you guys, which I was really surprised at because I kind of felt like I was rambling and no one wants to listen to me ramble. But uh, apparently there's, there's people who like it. So I figured today as we we're just doing more work on the house, we're building up the uh, second floor a little bit. I figured now would be the best time to dive into more of what worked, I guess. So if anyone's here for a philosophy lesson, then you're in the right place. So strap in. Today we're talking existentialism, right? So in my abundance of free time, as I said in the previous video, I'm beginning to learn some different philosophies. And I felt that I wanted to dive into existentialism because it's something a lot of people say that they're facing. You know, they say, oh, I've been through a lot of really big issue with, with existentialism lately. But I, I don't know if most people know what that means, or they do. What existentialism is, is the belief that one is put on the earth without any set destiny. You're, you're basically, it's kind of like a Minecraft world, actually. You're placed here, and then you're just told to go. And you say, okay, but where do I go? No one tells you where to go, because ultimately that choice is up to you. So you set off and, and you do whatever you want, you find where your purpose is. And that's in in teaching people things, or making Minecraft videos, or walking dogs. It's really wherever you find your purpose. And what's cool about existentialism is no one gives you that purpose, and no one can take that purpose away from you. So it's a lot about... I don't like that, hold on. This needs to go away. Yeah, that'll be look a little weird if I kept it, so we'll just get rid of that. I totally lost my train of thought. But anyway, existentialism, no one can give you your, uh, your purpose and no one can take it away from you. And this is something that a lot of people can often struggle with. They, they say, you know, okay, I've gotten out of college, I have my little piece of paper, where do I go now? And no one can say, oh, dude, just go down the street and there's a, a firm that's looking for someone just like you. Because maybe that's not even what you're what what you want to do. I almost said what you're made to do, but that's not how existentialism works. You're not made for anything. You know, you can you can totally be what what I guess you could describe as the underdog. And maybe that's why we like underdog stories so much. The team that's not supposed to make it, suddenly getting the power, realizing they do have it in them. You know, there's a there's a meme, and I'll, I'll try and put it on the screen if I can find it. But it's it's SpongeBob, and it says uh. Sports teams for the first three-fourths of a movie, and they suck. And then sports teams after one inspirational speech from the uh, from the coach, and they're all super buff and powerful. And and that's that's true, honestly. Um, there was a video that I'm probably not going to show because I guarantee you it's from a major publication. But they said, okay, Mr. Church Singer, sing me the song. Uh, I think it was Amazing Grace right boom they sang amazing grace and it was good you know they're they're a professional singer and then they said okay sing me amazing grace but you're singing it because your uncle just got free from jail on a charge that they weren't actually or something that they didn't commit and then they obviously sang it with a lot more passion and they said you know why are you saying it with more passion and they said why person conducting the surveyor study and they said because you had something to sing for and that's, that's what existentialism is. It's all about finding why you're doing what you're doing and, and moving on from that. So that's really cool. And I think it's, it's great because it can most certainly help with making a decision, you know? There was a, um, a teacher of this philosophy, I guess you could call him a philosopher, and I'll put his name on the screen. A lot of things going on, on the screen this episode. And he said that one of his students was confronted with a big dilemma. He said his choices were either to go to war and serve his country, be a part of one of, what, like thousands of different troops who all went to war to fight for their country, or he could stay home and, uh, and he could help his, his sick mother. Obviously, you might be leaning one way or the other, man. Go with your heart, follow your destiny, or no, you have to stay home and care for your mom. What are you thinking? That's so selfish, right? Either way, he ultimately asks for help, and the whole point of that exercise, and it's going to be super upsetting for those of you guys who are interested, is that there is no answer. And that's because if anyone gave him an answer, then it wouldn't be uh, genuine, 
or what is called uh, authentic, which is something else that's really important in existentialism, is any decision you make has to come from you, otherwise it's not what you're meant to do. If, if someone says, hey, you know, you're really good at, at playing football or basketball, Troy Bolton from High School Musical 1, 2, and 3, you should go to college and become a big football star. And Troy Bolton says, yeah, you know, that's that's something. You sure are onto something there, uh, basketball dad. And then he goes around the corner and and he's like, oh, but I want to I want to sing in the theater, right? Whatever he chooses to go to college for, I think in the end he chooses both, which is such a cop out in, in existentialism. But ultimately he makes a decision, and whatever he ends up with is what he ends up with because he wanted it, you know. When he said that he was gonna go pursue both basketball and singing, which was just awful, by the way. Um, well, I guess it wasn't awful at the time. Total side tangent to my already huge tangent. But why did he choose both? He definitely whatever. Um, he chooses that, and then that is his genuine or authentic choice. That's the choice he makes, and he says, "Yep, this is what I want." And because he chooses that himself, he gives himself the meaning that he needs, and that's what fulfills you in uh, in existentialism. So whenever you're dealing with something existentialist, now you know what you're talking about. And there's there's elements that I, I didn't get into, and I, I should probably, I just don't feel like I necessarily grasp it enough to be spreading the information. You know, I want to be able to have all my T's dotted and my I's crossed before I move on to the, uh, the deeper parts. There's also things like how we're placed in this world and it's it's a world of, of no logic right so you often think oh why is the universe doing this to me oftentimes it's not to get you it's not for any reason because the universe functions independently of you you know you think this is obviously a uh, huge huge hugely against the belief of, of karma which is a whole nother video i can talk about but basically they say yeah maybe maybe the bus splashed mud on you as you're walking to work why did it do that because the bus is just a bus. It splashes water on people sometimes. And you may be thinking, is this because I X, Y, Z? And, and the true answer is maybe, maybe not. The universe doesn't know, and nor does it care. It wasn't going to stop just because you were there or because you weren't there. So maybe, maybe you can use that when you're making decisions or looking on something and say, well, hey, maybe it's not because the universe hates me. Maybe it's because the universe does what the universe does. That's something to think about. Wow, that was a good talk. Now I can uh, explain what I've been building this entire time. I'm building up the second layer and it's quickly come to my attention that I'm going to need a lot of glass because there are huge gaps in this area that must be filled. And I don't know how I'm going to work on filling them without the glass. So see, like I think I want to expand all the windows up by one block um, because it's like, whoops. I accident. Well, hold on. Never mind. It's gonna look nicer when I place this down, right? Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. It's it like oh, I understand why. When you have it open like this, it looks like there's way too much, you know. But basically, this serves as I was gonna say way too much wooden planks. But these spruce planks serve as the the divider between the first floor and the second floor. So that will help with the um with the monotony there. And then obviously, well, we're gonna need glass for this floor anyway, so we. Still do need to get more dye. I'll probably grab that dye. Just from whatever flower I find really. I'll just snatch it up, put it in my back pocket, save it for later. All that good good stuff. Alright, let's put um let's put some stuff in here. So if you guys have any homework you need to do, uh, you should let me know what it is. If it's a discussion topic, if it's something you don't understand. I'm down to discuss things, man. I think that's really cool that, that I'm able to get on here and, and rant about existentialism or uh, cynicism and people are like that's that's cool also I hope people enjoy that I used high school musical to teach it that should be interesting maybe I should become a teacher but that wouldn't be would that be hold on now now I'm thinking now I'm thinking like a true existentialist if I became a teacher was that on my own accord or because you guys liked it when I talked about things dang up oh, to meta Gotta back out. Too meta. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, no, that, that was really cool. I'm I got on to my my phone gives me YouTube alerts whenever someone sends me like a comment or, or something like that, and it was like so many comments, and they're like everyone in the comments said 
dang, that was really cool. That was that was an interesting topic you discussed. I was like, whoa. Because, I mean, I, I do this research on my own, usually. Oftentimes, it's when I'm laying in bed before I go to sleep. I'm like, I wonder... I wonder how big the moon is. And then I look up how big the moon is. And then I say, I wonder what people think of the moon. And then I look up what people think of the moon. And usually I just fall down these endless spirals that lead me to these wacky conclusions. But if you guys are enjoying that, I mean, that's cool. I'm sure there's a, uh, there's people, I put that I make videos on my college applications. And um, one of the colleges actually mentioned my YouTube channel in my acceptance letter. So. I'll make a separate video on that later if it's necessary. Um, I'm, I'm working on something in my head. And uh, yeah, so there might be some professors from, from colleges that are like, dude, this guy's playing Minecraft and he's talking about philosophies? That's insane. By the way, I applied to all the schools as an architecture major. And my reasoning behind this is, well, I play a lot of Minecraft and I think my builds look pretty nice. So if I could use my building skills from in-game to make buildings outside of the game, then maybe that would be cool. And uh, yes, that is authentic, in case anyone is going to be wondering. Dang, I, I definitely, by the end of this build, I'm going to have my entire audience just sitting in dark closets wondering what they've been doing their entire life. They'll be like, but I played baseball. I played Little League Baseball. Was that genuine? Was that authentic? Did I, did I really want to do that? <laughs> Mom! Mom! Yes, honey? Why did you put me up for baseball? Uh, you you said you wanted to do it. Oh, thank God. Why is that important? It was authentic! It was authentic! Dang, it's dark down there. Do I have lights? Maybe I fill in this section off camera and I deal with my lights right now. We also, we might take a break from doing the actual building in the next video and touch up on the, uh, not great touch up on the redstone work that we're going to need for the um the automatic opening and closing of the gates that i wanted to do that would also help just kind of break up some of the uh monotony of, of doing these builds even though honestly this build's coming along pretty quickly i thought about switching up my my style and trying to do like a a huge time lapse while i like voiceover stuff but i think doing it live is more fun at least it is for me Okay, where else do we need lights? We need a light here for sure. There we go. And we're gonna need lights in the middle. That's probably gonna have to come from some sort of a... Like a torch under a carpet, maybe? Something like that. Yeah. I could bury a torch under here. Do I have any torches? Or is it only... I can make torches. That counts. Yeah, I don't want to waste a whole lantern under there. Torches, torches do fine. Give me these torches. There we go. Cool, yeah. So now, obviously, this is a trick most people know. Oh, I forgot about this. It's fine. Most people know about this trick, but if you put a torch down, and then you cover it with a, a ca cabinet. I was going to say cabinet. Carpet. It hides the light source. I'll probably put another one here in the middle at some point. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this upper portion, or at least do some more of it. Ah, and we can finish it. We've got the time to finish it. Okay, here we go. All around now. Sometimes I decide I want to do my, whenever I'm filling in a section, sometimes it'll be like, I'll go up and down, and other times I'm like, I'll go in circles. So see right now, we're going to go uh, up and down. And usually when I get down to a regular shape, it's funner to go, funner? Whoa, I said funner. That is like language sin number one. Never say funner. It's more fun. Always. It's almost like saying more funnier. Jeez. That's just absolute amateur speech. I'm better than that. I've perfected the craft of the English language more. I made way too many slaps. Oh, story of my life. You press the triangle button when you only needed to make like three. Whatever. We finished it. Yay, we did the entire build. Wow. That is incredible. Cool. Okay, now let's find... Let's find a place for me to shoot a thumbnail. I think if I build up like this, and I go like that, I think that's a pretty good thumbnail. All right, Minecraft gamers, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about my philosophy rants. I think they're pretty productive. Uh, yeah, for reals though, thank you all so, so much for watching. I know you, there's a lot of free time and you can spend it any way you want, but you guys spending it here means a lot to me. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys back here in the next video. And um, until then, as always, take care.